Hi, I'm Carol Jurgensen Sheets, aka Carol the Coach. And I gotta tell you, I get so many clients that say they're stuck. They can't get past the impasse. And so when that happens, I oftentimes encourage them to work a five part formula. Now, it didn't originate with him, but I got it out of Joe Vitale's The Attractor Factor, which was originally called Spiritual Marketing. And The Attractor Factor is something that says we attract into our lives the energy that oftentimes plagues us the most. So what do we do? We can't change them, so we have to change ourselves. It's a hard concept to believe, but I also know that when I really work from this place, things always get better. Now, not maybe within my time frame, but I promise you they get better. So I thought I'd share that with you. Um, believe it or not, even though in coaching we always say, don't ask this, I'm going to ask you, to think about what is it that you don't want and write it down. You've heard me say it a million times before. When you write it down, you make it happen. So what is it that you don't want in your life? And keep it specific and keep it to one thing. So that may require that you really kind of hone it down to what is it that I don't want. I am going to share an example with you. It's not a big deal, but it is to me. I've got an online course coming up, and it's on partner betrayal, and it's on post-traumatic growth. And I want my um, stars, if you will, my partners that were in this course to get my course for free. And I can't get that to them, even though there is a step-by-step -step process of how to do that. I've even had IT help me, and <laughs> we're not being very successful. Okay, so I say, what don't I want? What is this that I don't want? Well, I don't want to have to spend hours and hours trying to figure out how to get them this course for free. That's the first step. Okay, now what do I want? Well, I, I want to get that course to them free so that I can then disseminate it to anybody who wants to learn more about post-traumatic growth. Because that's where I think we should all be. We should take our suffering and move it into how am I stronger, what have I learned, and why do I like myself better? Okay, so that's what do I want. Okay, here's the hard part, the third part. And that part is, you ask yourself, how are my own limiting beliefs keeping me stuck in this situation? Well, for this situation, I know it's easy. Because the truth of the matter is, you probably know I have good self-esteem. And if I look at myself compared to other 64-year-old females, I go, whoa, I make videos, I edit them, I make movies, I edit them, I do podcasts, I don't edit them. In other words, I do a lot of things. But what I know about this platform that I'm using for the course is that I don't really know it. And when I read it, I don't get it. And that makes me feel technologically unsavvy. And so I come into the process going, I hope I get it. I don't know that I'm going to get it. I might not get it. And my own limiting beliefs get in my way. Okay, so that's the third part. How am I staying stuck? How are my limiting beliefs feeding into this problem? The fourth step, and by far the hardest part of the step, is that what you have to do is actually imagine, which requires meditating, imagine that you have worked through the problem, you're now successful, your 
partners that were in this online course are all accessing the course. Oh, they're loving it. You know, it brought me to tears when they did it. So I can imagine that they're going to love it. And then you imagine that it's really transferred into the universe and other people are getting so much out of it, which is what I really wanted to do, right? So it's more than I have to think it. I also have to feel it. And that's why I say it's hard. Because if you're like me, when I meditate, it's really hard to feel a positive outcome when things aren't so positive. But that's what I'm expected to do. That is the fourth step to this five-part process. All right. Then the fifth step is to affirm yourself and to say, you know, I am so glad that my life is different because of me becoming unstuck. And I want to give gratitude to the universe for making it possible. Now for me, that's gratitude to God. So God, thank you for making this a possibility. Thank you for creating my energy to get this down. Thank you for the partners that have worked diligently on this online course. They have shared their story. They've been vulnerable. And we all know when people are vulnerable, that's intimacy. And when there's intimacy, it um, transfers into connection. And when we got connection going on, we got support. Okay, so that's the five-step process. Let's go over it again. One, you ask yourself, what don't you want? Two, you ask yourself, what do you want? Three, okay, you spend some time and ask yourself, what limiting beliefs are getting in my way from getting what I want? Four, you use your imagination, you use your body work, you feel the feelings of being successful. And five, you affirm your God for helping to make that happen. You recognize that it's not all about you. It's also something that's a special connection with you and your higher power. Now, there's one other caveat I want to add. When you are imagining that there's something else um, that is successful. You know, you've, you've had that feeling of, oh, I'm successful. I got through this. Yay. Then what you do is you thank the universe for giving you that or something better. That way you leave it open for God to kind of take charge and move you in a different direction than even you could move yourself. Okay, that's the five-step formula. It, I got to tell you, The Attractor Factor by Joe Vitelli. It's an amazing book. There are times it's corny, but what it really does is it teaches you via his experience and all the many books and resources he's used how to attract what you want in your life. I'm Carol Jurgensen Sheets, a.k.a. Carol the Coach, and hey, I am so happy that you let me into your living room, into your office, wherever you are, to help me get you unstuck.